In this grade 10 mathematical literacy video, we are preparing for the 2025 October-November final examination. So we have the exam scope for both your paper 1 and your paper 2 in this one video. So we are going to be looking at what are the topics that you need to prepare for you to be able to write your paper 1 and your paper 2 and what it is exactly that you need to study under each and every single one of those topics so that you are fully prepared. Starting with your paper one, we are looking at how your question paper will be laid out. So this is the overview of what your paper one is going to look like. You're going to have four questions. In question one, you're going to be looking at the level one basic questions. This is topics like numbers and calculating numbers as well as patterns. I think they're going to fall under your question one. So that's where you can expect them. And then in your question two, you have finance and everything that falls under finance. We are going to go into detail what it is that you need to study under the finance topic and then in question three we are going to have data handling once again we are also going to look into detail what it is that you need to study under data handling and then lastly in your question four you're going to have an integrated question an integrated question basically means that it is going to be a mix of a question that starts with probability and mixes finance and data handling with it so let's now look at what are you going to need to study under finance for you to be fully prepared for your question paper and specifically your question two so first you need to be able to uh answer questions on financial documents so financial documents we're talking about house bills we're talking about till slips we're talking about statements whether it's a bank statement or an account statement you need to be able to cover your tariff systems that is the municipal the telephone and transport systems from there you're looking into income expenditure profit and loss from there we're looking into finance variable as well as occasional income and expenditure and then be able to calculate the interest as well as the interest rate then get into the taxation and also be able to calculate the VAT inclusive as well as exclusive prices as we are looking into the value added tax and then from there be able to cover banking loans and investments and end with determining bank charges. In the topic of data handling what you need to be able to do is first of all be able to know what do we use to collect data, how do we classify data and how do we organize data and then you also need to be able to do summarizing data calculations so what are these calculations the calculation of your mean being able to determine your median being able to determine your mode as well as the calculation of a range when you're looking into a, a data set then from there we get into representing data so when we represent data what do we represent it on we represent it on pie charts histogram bar graph line as well as broken line graphs so there are some questions where they may ask you to draw uh, one of these representing data but there is also some questions where they have drawn it for you and what they need from you is for you to be able to interpret it so make sure that you are very comfortable with plotting your graphs then the last topic is the one that we said that it is a mixed question so it is a probability that is mixed with finance as well as data handling under it probability specifically you need to be able to do the expression of a probability be able to determine what is an event and its outcome be able to to do predictions and be able to tell us a relative frequency as well as a theoretical probability of an event and then also be able to deal with tree diagrams as well as two-way tables so make sure that you are comfortable with everything that falls under probabilities <music> Getting to the paper two, we are also still once again looking at the overview or the layout of your paper two. Once again, in question one, we are going to have level one basic questions. And like I said before, the level one basic questions are basically the question the questions that are the basics of math literacy. So this is the numbers as well as the calculation of numbers. And I think that also the topic of patterns will also fall under this topic. And then in the question two of your paper two, you're going to be dealing with maps and plots. 
plans in question three you're going to be looking into measurements and then in question four just like in question uh in paper one rather you're going to be dealing with an integrated question of a probability but this time the probability question will be mixed with the topics that fall in your paper two which is maps and plans as well as measurement and so now we are going to get into what do you need to study exactly in detail under each and every single one of these topics starting with maps and plans with maps and plans for you to be fully ready you need to cover the following first the numerical and the bar scale so make sure that you are comfortable with both be able to calculate actual as actual distance and length and then be able to find locations follow and give directions on a map be able to deal with floor plans layouts and designs and be able to answer questions based on them be able to determine the quantity of material needed this is for the application questions so they may ask you that somebody is building a house how much material do we need based on the actual distance that you would have calculated in point number two right and then also be able to deal with assembly diagrams this is where you are given pieces of furniture and you're putting it together be able to follow those steps get into packing cans and boxes and get to the determining of cost effective packaging that's where it mixes with finance a little bit there then the next topic we have is measurement and with measurement the first and most important thing that you need to be able to do in this topic is for you to be able to do conversions need Need to be able to do the conversions of the metric systems deal with the factors as well as dealing with the conversion tables so usually they might give you the conversion tables on how to move from for example an inch to a centimeter so me be able to know if you're dividing or you're multiplying be able to convert time be able to measure length weight volume and temperature and also be able to calculate cost of products and services and then we get into the biggest one in measurement is when we're looking into perimeter and area of a rectangle a triangle and a cycle a square is implied so make sure that you know how to do that as well and then be able to solve application problems and then the last topic is probabilities that is going to be mixed with your measurement as well as maps and plans what you need to cover under probabilities is similar to what you would have covered in paper one so if you would have done covered everything in paper one and made sure that you were not cramming but you were starting to remember then you wouldn't even have to repeat probabilities in paper two youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below